What's happening traders and investors? It's Rod with Power Group. Welcome back on The Pursuit of Wall. Today is Monday, April 25th. Hope you had a great weekend. And in this video, we're going to be just doing a quick five minute video, giving a quick morning market update. Uh, we've got about five minutes until the market open here at the time of this recording. And we've got some huge news from Twitter uh, set to possibly accept Musk's $43 billion offer. We'll discuss all that and more and why I think this is super bullish for the market and uh, crypto as well. But before we get to it, make sure to smash the like, subscribe to the channel, tick the bell, you'll be notified on any future uploads. Diving right into this first piece of news, so Twitter is set to accept Musk's $43 billion offer, so it would be $43 billion in cash, and it would equate to about $54.20 per share. And we do have earnings, a huge earnings week this week, uh, so just keep an eye out uh, on Alphabet, Microsoft, all the big tech, because we know that big tech has been, has been weak and has been dragging us down. We also have Meta, so Facebook, PayPal, Twitter, We've got Amazon and Apple on Thursday as well. Twitter's before market open on Thursday, so it's entirely possible that we see this confirmation of this deal at some point this week, uh, maybe leading into Thursday into those earnings. So going to be a very, very jam-packed week in terms of tech. And like I said, we know tech has been, uh, has been dragging us down. And I sent a... Um, blast out to the private chat community, the Powell private chat community. And I said, watch for news, right? Because we were approaching key supports on the S&P 500, uh, which is at $410. And I, the old saying goes, show me the charts and I'll tell you when to expect the news, right? And uh, funny enough, right when we're approaching this key, major key support, uh, we have this huge news with regards to Twitter and Musk. So I believe we're seeing one more quick flush of the weak hands out of the market before we finish the final push of this bull cycle. Uh, Musk buying Twitter this week. Um, this is huge for crypto and stocks. Like I mentioned, tech has been dragging us. So Twitter and Elon may be able to save the day right before. Uh, I think the SEC is set to approve a spot Bitcoin ETF, which is also going to be extremely bullish for uh, obviously crypto. Um, it's obviously going to be very, very bullish for the market because the broader market like the S&P 500, because people are going to be able to purchase that within their trading, their stock trading accounts, right? And I think it's going to create another uh, wave of euphoria and hype and I think that we're more than likely going to see a couple more spot Bitcoin ETF proposals um, refused and denied but I do think that Grayscale the trust GPTC is going to convert into a spot ETF that is what my gut is telling me let me know in the comments below if you agree with me also Bitcoin has been very correlated to the Nasdaq recently uh, so this is good that we're seeing tech right? So AKA big tech. So we're seeing tech and Bitcoin rebound at the same time. We have big tech earnings this week. So we're going to be watching to see how we uh, react to those earnings. But uh, bulls really need to step in here uh, at a crucial point in time in, uh, in the chart. Uh, also, XRP could potentially uh, settle. I did a video, check that out uh, over the weekend. I said 95% of cases settle. I think that they want us to believe that it's not going to end for another, you know, six to 12, maybe even more than a year um, from, from now. And I think that is I think they're actually gearing up for a settlement and uh, we're going to see it over the next few months. I think a lot of people are going to potentially sell their XRP and they're going to get impatient and they're going to say, I'll buy it back in a, a few months, you know, maybe October, November. And I think over the next three months, we're going to see a settlement. Let me know in the comments below if you agree. I think it's a head fake. Um, so again, I think that could happen within the next few months. And also Ethereum 2.0 proof of stake will be will likely be releasing around the same time. So that's all going to be extremely uh, interesting to see all that play out and see if we can see that blow off the top moment that we've been looking for and that true alt season that we've yet to see in the uh, the crypto space. Uh, but a lot of names heading towards daily oversold conditions. And this is a buying opportunity in my opinion. And like I said, all about uh, key supports that are coming up and this is a reminder of why we can take short positions and hedging positions as well. But you can see here, Bitcoin back in a 15 minute uptrend. If we take a look at XRP, we've got a crucial moment here on the, on the chart as well with this monthly rounded bottom. We're monthly consolidation. If we lose the low here at 64 cents, uh, that's not gonna be good. We're likely heading back down to that 55 cent area and invalidating this rounded bottom. But if bulls step in right now, and this is all the downside we see, there's no major red flags at the moment. Keep in mind that Bitcoin, is still in a monthly uptrend, still in a weekly uptrend, just looking for a higher low here compared to the low at 34,322. So that is the key support, <clears throat> excuse me, to be watching on Bitcoin, in my opinion, on the uh, on the weekly time frame. So that is the the line in the sand support that we need to be watching. If we lose that, then, uh, then it's not gonna be pretty, right? We lose that weekly uptrend and we can likely anticipate a lot more downside. SPY is opening here now. Uh, it is opening bell, and you can see here we're starting daily consolidation once again. And again, 
Weekly supports, all about weekly supports from here. We're still in a weekly uptrend with a low, high, higher, low, and higher, high. So just scouting a higher low compared to 4.15.12. But the absolute key support that we must hold is 4.10.64 on the S&P 500. So we're going to be watching that. Uh, again, a very, very important week here uh, with, uh, with Twitter and Elon. I do think that, look at Twitter up over 4% here this morning. If you take a look at the daily time frame. Uh, so this is good. This is what we want to see. We want to see tech rebound. And I'm going to take a look at Tesla here real quick as well on the, day on the daily time frame. So we are consolidating and we're losing the low of, of Friday. And daily consolidation underway and key support there at 974.64. If we lose that, we've got a lack of support all the way down until 756. So Tesla... Not looking good here at the moment, but we'll see if bulls can step in and save that. Like I said, SPY, crucial support going to be watching is 410. I'll do another video after market close today as well. And uh, we'll do a little bit more in-depth analysis. But uh, at the moment, bulls are just fine as long as we hold those, those key uh, those key monthly supports. All right, going to end it there. Thanks so much for joining us on The Pursuit of Wall. Smash like and subscribe to the channel. It helps support me. It doesn't cost you anything. It helps uh, the channel as well. And let me know in the comments below if you agree with me, disagree with me. Always love hearing from you and we'll see you in the next video.